case you've forgotten, I actually own the company, even though Kayla is really the face of the company these days. And I'm sure she's better well known in the industry now than what I am. So, um, yeah, it's this is this is amazing. Um, I'll start by saying, firstly, because of so many people that uh, I've spoken to today and over the years, uh, Swan Hill is located about four hours drive north of Melbourne on the Murray River, for those of you that don't actually know where we are. Um, we cover a fairly big region. It's not unusual, unusual for us to travel three to 400 kilometres to make a delivery. So uh, it's a big area that we, that we cover. Um, very fortunate because um, six years ago we, we won this award, but then uh, I guess to reflect on Lane Beachley today, uh, a lot of things changed and one of, those, one of those moments in my life happened. So um, well, I, for those of you that aren't aware, my marriage fell apart and uh, I, nearly, I nearly gave up. Had a great business, yeah but, yeah but, my wife left me, yeah but, I can't do this anymore, yeah but, I haven't got any money to buy any equipment. But mostly these people around me here that are up here with me, they turned the yeah but into a yes and. And the key yes and was, we believe in you, we love this business, and we want it to be the best. So, so here we are, six years later, rental company of the year, the divisions have changed, but we're still in the, in the lower division. So there's so many facets to, to winning this award, and I, I want to uh, talk about the process. Somebody else mentioned it as well. Um, for any rental companies out there, hire companies to... Just have a crack. Um, you mightn't think you're, you're good enough or, or you're up to it, but the process is so good um, for, for industry experts to come into your business and to really analyse uh, and help you out and, and show you the areas that, that you need work on um, and to improve. It, it's so valuable. So we knew what we had to do better uh, all the time. Thank you to our suppliers, many of you are in the room, uh, and our customers. I don't think probably none of them in the room, but uh, they're a long way away. Uh, but without, without suppliers and customers, as you all know, uh, we really don't have businesses as such. I uh, also want to thank a lot of our uh, cross-hire suppliers as well, of, of which there's, there's many. Um, and Kayla, through the, through the networking opportunities like the, the Young Professionals Network, um, she's been able to make a number of, of contacts. So when crises like floods, for example, hit our part of the world, um, we can drag in equipment from, from miles away to, to help our communities and to help serve our communities because of, because of the great networks that we've got uh, and because of this industry being so good where people are just willing to help each other all the time. So, so thank you especially to our, um, to our cross eye suppliers as well. Uh, thanks not just, to, not just to our customers in Swan Hill but the whole Swan Hill region. As I said, we, we cover a huge area uh, we cover construction, mining, agriculture, uh, as well as day-to-day -day customers, uh, of, which, of which there are many. Um, just in deliveries alone, uh, we've clocked up over, uh, well, nearly 100,000 kilometres in our own vehicles, uh, plus contractors as well that cart for us. So we, we get, around the, get around the place. But I think for me, the most, one of the most satisfying things about this, winning this award tonight is not that it hasn't been me driving it. It's actually been um, these people here as, as, as Swan Hill High's management team driving it. They were committed to it and, and they wanted to do it. Um, they've been very, very motivated to be one of the best hire businesses in the country. And these people are not just my staff. They're my family. Um, Kayla, look, when I first employed Kayla, first thing my eldest daughter said to me, Dad, do you... Do you really know? Do you really know who you're employing? She's got dreadlocks and tattoos, and she smokes. I said, "It's all right, Nat. We'll be fine. We'll be fine." So, um, and she's like a daughter, and and I really pr appreciate and value everything you do, uh, and you've been the driver behind here. Uh, Leanne, to Kayla's right. Is, is known as the mother of the house. Uh, she's a mum to everybody, um, but to me she's like a sister. So she doesn't just run uh, all, the, all the finance and, 
uh, administration side of the business. Um, she keeps everybody, she's got, a, got her own little counselling couch in her office and, and everything, she keeps everybody going. Uh, and Phil, at the end, Dr Phil, not just the best mechanic in the, in the hire industry, uh, but also, to me, like a big brother. Um, so when times were pretty rough, Phil was the one that kept dragging me out and, uh, and kept me going. So uh, thanks, mate. Love you heaps. And Dale. Well, Dale hasn't been around as long as the, as long as the others at, at Swan Hill Hire. However, he is arguably the best golfer in the hire industry. And I think there's a few in this room that would attest to that. Uh, and he does enough dodgy deals on the side to make sure that we can have beers on Friday night. So we really value him for that as well. I, I think the record, I, I think the record was uh, 15 cartons piled up in the smoker room. Well done, Jags. Uh, and I have remarried. Life is really, really good. And my beautiful wife's down in front here. So, uh, Ange, whilst, um, whilst she doesn't work on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis in the business, she's a pillar of support, not just for me, but for, for everybody uh, there. And... Uh, Thank you very much. Love you heaps. I don't want to forget the team who are still at home. Uh, the business is still operating, even though um, management team's here. Uh, so they're doing a wonderful job keeping things going at home. It's been great to be able to bring a couple of the other guys up here. Um, they flew back today and they'll be back at work tomorrow. Thank you to the industry. Thank you for the opportunity to participate in, in something like this. It, it's just, it is just fantastic. And uh, as I said six years ago, Andy Kennard, you owe me a beer. Thanks very much.